Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Well, well, let's uh, go to Presidential Suite, yeah. Yeah, there's Arcade, Veronica, and EVE. Right, so this is the snow globe collection. All the snow globes from the base game. And all four snow globes from the DLCs. One for each one. Excuse me, but are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? Yes. Why do you want to know? Oh, well, I heard, I mean, we heard, we meaning the followers of the apocalypse, that you had been in there. The lucky 38, I mean. How did and you we get in here? I wondering if you could help us, if it's not too much trouble, of course. How did you get enough money to enter the strip? <laughs> and how did you get in here? This is important enough to the followers that we scraped together the caps required for the credit check. And I'm staying at Vault 21, which is pretty cheap, for the strip anyway. What does it involve? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. And this is where I come in? Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Dr. Alfred diagnoses a terminally low discussion of caps in this conversation. Ah, I see. I suppose I can give you some medical supplies for your efforts. I assure you, they will be worth plenty of caps. All right, I'll do it. Great. I'll have the medical supplies for you by the time you come back. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. Oh, fine, we'll go to. Hey. Hey, have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Not yet. Okay, no rush, but the sooner the followers can learn about Mr. House's technology, the better. I wonder if Emily is the one follower who helped Penny to program Yes Man. Or to be to, or to be precise, reprogramming. All oh, right. Well, guess you on the outside. So. All right. Let's get this hey, on. Have you been able to bug Mr. House's network yet? Yes, I have. Good to hear. But it looks like the bug was deactivated a few minutes after it went online. It looks like House has some kind of countermeasure in place to prevent eavesdropping on his network. We'll get through eventually, just not today. Here are those medical supplies I promised. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Take care. All right. And back to the tower. Again. No need for the XP because we're maxed level, but anyway, the sweet here. Upgrade the sweet. Crafting locker. Bridge. Rich, 
guest wardrobes, master wardrobes, sunset sarsaparilla machine, weapon trunk, one, two, and workbench. 12,000, yeah, like a, a 1,200 caps to upgrade the whole suite. Mm. Yes. I could, but we already have the the rest the we already have our stuff in Novak, so and yes we have the long haul perk so we could just you know fast travel there, take everything fast travel back and then you know basically <laughs> spend some time to kind of uh, organize all the stuff. Mm. I guess, we'll, okay, I guess we'll upgrade the, we'll buy all these upgrades, sure. Yeah, now there's like weapon trunks, wardrobes, yeah, all these empty ones. I think that footlocker was probably always there. Then there's like a, there's a workbench here, crafting materials. Two trunks for crafting materials, or I guess you could have one trunk for like crafting materials and the other trunk for like uh, all the stuff that you have crafted, you know. Two bridges, you know, one, one you could use maybe for drinks, the other one for food. Yeah, sunset sarsaparilla machine over here, yeah. Go to penthouse. All right. Well, here we are. The foundation is laid. My Securitrons on the Strip are upgraded, and those at the fort ready for action. Now it's just a matter of adjusting the attitudes of some lesser groups while we wait for Caesar's Legion to attack Hoover Dam. What's the next step? Outside New Vegas, at what was once called Nellis Air Force Base, resides an unusual tribe known as the Boomers. They are, shall we say, aggressively reclusive. They have several howitzers they fire at anyone who dares approach the base. Artillery of this sort has a range of several miles. If it's going to fire on Hoover Dam, I want it firing at my targets. If not, then I want to make sure that the Boomers don't sign similar treaties to fire their guns in support of the NCR or Caesar's Legion. All right, I'll make sure they support the right side. Use extreme caution when approaching the base. Their firepower is considerable. Recently, one of my roaming Securitrons observed a man near the base studying the pattern of its artillery fire. Maybe he's learned something. I mean, well, we, that guy we met, I mean.
square I'm surprised Mr. House doesn't notice this that I'm literally deactivating his securitrons Oh, don't worry, we're not going to do anything major. Okay, I'm hungry. It's okay. We got food. We go on on a stick, and I had like a think, squirrel stew, don't I? Okay, now that we have <laughs> deactivated these, <whistles> yes. And whack a couple of Securitrons. Unlock, yes. And go to the elevator to the control room. Oh, <clears throat> unseal LS chamber, or oh, maybe life support. Warning, microbial infection risk. Proceed, yes. Yep, so Mr. House is not just, you know, a computer, he's actually still a living human being, although being obviously, so, although he's, you know, although being, of course, kept alive by advanced technologies. So much good. Mm. Well, the yes man needs you out of the way. Well, you won't be able to control anything, but I'll let you live. Well, disable cerebral interface. Yes. Uh, 
Well, <laughs> I guess he has nothing more to say to us. Can we? Okay, we don't have any more options. Okay. Well, so he no longer controls anything. He's alive, but he has lost control of, well, everything, including the Securitrons. Well, Mm. Oh, that's probably yes man over here. I am so sorry about last time. Let me make it up to you. Oh, hi again. Can I help you with something else? Well, you should know that Mr. House is now out of the picture. You already took care of Mr. House? Yep. Wow, you work fast. I wouldn't say <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say that. We're on the level 50, and in terms of the main quest, we're only at this point, so I wouldn't call myself fast. But I'm ready, to I'm ready for you to join me at Lucky 38. Mr. House is out of the picture, and you have the platinum chip? Yep. Wonderful. Let's go. Oh, he, he literally, you know, does roll out there. Well, okay, now he went there, which is fine. But while he is there preparing things, I'm going to go back to Novak because <clears throat> we might as well kind of move, move all of our stuff now to the lucky 38, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Then again, I don't have like a first aid box there, do I? No. Not sure if I have a trash can. Um, mm. Did I actually take any radiation? Well, let's see. It does say one rat, so... Do I have now 14 rats? Okay, so... Hmm. Oh, I have like ant meat, don't I? Uh, 
and X. What do I really need to take all this stuff? I mean, I know I could move it there, but is there really any point of me doing that? Probably not. Yeah, maybe no. Oh, the knives. Put the now the let's see the the, the uh, mysterious magnum and the ripper. Yeah, putting both over. Oh boy. Uh, then again, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, since I already kind of have set myself up in Novak, I have, you know, I know what I want, you know, like, I have. Over in Nova, I have a place for everything basically, so. <clears throat> All right, let's go meet with Yes Man. to penthouse here Smilla. <clears throat> wow, Mr. House had quite a setup here. I can access his data banks and view telemetry on every Securitron on the network. Every Securitron on the network has been upgraded. Pretty neat, huh? The Securitrons at the fort are on standby. I see a status log here confirming that the Mark II OS upgrade installed correctly. They'll be all set to go once we boost my transmitting power and bring them online with the network. But we'll worry about that later. So, I should ask these tribes if they'll support an independent Vegas? Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know... Shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty, or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. Okay, so which tribe should I get to know? There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this trip. The Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the Strip, too. Like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. All right. See you around. Yeah, go to um, the suites, yeah.
What's up? So, I think we should travel together. Back in your good graces again? I knew you'd see the light. Yeah. I need to talk to you about something, if you have a minute. Sure. Any day now? Caesar's going to try to march across Hoover Dam and kick NCR out of the Mojave. Probably. We're getting caught up in something important out here. Hell, after how you handled Benny, you're practically right in the middle of all this. I know I'm just along for the ride, but it's made me think about the past, how I might be able to help out. What are you talking about? I wasn't always with the followers or with the NCR. No. My late father was an officer in a group called the Enclave. Enclave of America's pre-war government. Memories being short around here, not a whole lot of people remember them. But they did bad things. Terrorize communities, kidnap people. Eventually someone stopped them. I was born a few years later at a military base on the coast, a place called Navarro. I mean Enclave was also responsible for the killing of the residents of World 13, so <clears throat> what happened to Navarro? After the Enclave's command structure fell apart, it was only a matter of time before Navarro was overrun by NCR forces. My mother and I left with some of the troopers from my father's old unit, the same people I've kept in contact with over the years. Anyone who didn't get out was killed by the NCR. Even some of the ones who escaped were eventually hunted down by the Brotherhood of Steel. Where did the Enclave go? A lot of different places. I only know what I was told. Some of them were cut down by the NCR and the Brotherhood. Some of them went east. My mother never told me what happened to my father, but she and I went south with some others and integrated into the NCR. When the NCR learned that Enclave personnel had integrated, we kept moving to the fringes. It's one of the reasons why I wound up out here. Where are you going with all of this? The Enclave did a lot of bad things, but there were good people at Navarro. Good people with a lot of experience. Not many of them are alive anymore, but I think they can make a difference in the fight against Caesar. You want them to help the NCR? That's a hard question to answer. I know I don't want the Legion to take Hoover Dam. So militarily, yes, I want them to help NCR. If possible, I'd like to figure out a way to help the NCR win Hoover Dam without holding New Vegas. Well, say no more. I'll do it. Great. I'd like you to talk to the old timers, the remnants. I don't think I could convince them by myself. To them, I'm still a kid. But you're a big part of what's happening out here. When you talk to them, they'll understand how important this all is. I've kept in contact with them over the years, so I know where you can find them. But I doubt they'll open up to you unless I come along. I know I'm not always the most serious guy around, but this means a lot to me. Thanks. Right. <clears throat> EDE Companion Protocol Begin. Yep. Right. Mm. <clears throat> All right, so Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Come again. Oh. 
file. Of course, we're also going to want to start, you know, dealing with the lesser factions. So visit the boomers, etc. Hmm. If it can be bought, it can be found and taken around. We've got stuff we're not. Well, it's kind of late, so. So, yeah, there she is. I've heard a few patients mention the Securitrons are acting strangely, and no one has heard from Mr. House in a while. If House is out of the picture, maybe we'll be able to get our hands on some of his technology. It would help our scientists greatly. Well, you said you could spare some supplies. Sure. Would you like a stim pack, fixer, or rataway? Give me a fixer. You'll need to wait another 24 hours for us to get more made. We need everything else we currently have. Right. Probably a fiend. All right, I'm getting karma for. Broken laser rifle, huh? Well, all right.
Okay. Okay. There's a cross on here. West side, west entrance here. Mark my words, won't be long before the Legion and NCO. You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to West Side? Arcade Cannon. Arcade asked me to find you. I'm gathering the remnants. Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? <laughs> you tell me? Well, assuming our equipment cache is intact, my squad would have the edge in armor and firepower. There's only a handful of us, though, so the best tactic would be for us to swoop in where the target isn't expecting us. How am I doing? Sounds good to me. Does that mean you're in? Oh, that's what I said at the world I had in mind. I'll be there, but it won't mean squat if the rest of the group isn't there, too. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. Navarro. Right. Tell me about the old days with the enclave. I miss those days sometimes. We all had a purpose, you know? I admit that some of the folks in charge were pretty ruthless. The rest of us, though, we were just trying to civilize things. The NCR was still new, and it didn't look like they'd last all that long. Then we lost the oil rig, and shortly after that, the base at Novaro. Nobody left except us remnants. What happened to the enclave oil rig in Novaro? Internal sabotage took down the oil rig. Never did get the full story. The NCR took out Navarro, saying we posed a threat to the region. Yeah, that blowing up the oil rig, I understand that's something you do in Fallout 2. You know, your character is involved in that. So that's why they live in kind of vague scenes. <laughs> you know, your character can be in, you know, basically you can, your character can be anything or anyone. So I'd like to know about your former squad. I was the officer in charge. Johnson and Moreno were my heavy hitters. Henry handled tech things, and Whitman flew the chopper. Johnson and Moreno never got along, and I had my hands full keeping those two apart some days. It was a difference in philosophy, mostly. Mercy was not part of Moreno's vocabulary. Right. Uh-huh. Our butt heads over Hoover Dam. Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together over the years, and with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome in the group. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. Not loyalty to the Enclave or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with him. They're loyal to you, too. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They went through a lot together, but my family went through it, too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. All right. Well. Let's go to Jacobstown next. Casador. Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Mm 
You sure these mercenaries work for the NCR? Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. How have they how have they been harassing the town? Killing our big corners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Well, why can't you just take them out? Not looking to fight. I'll give NCR an excuse to come up here and wipe us out. So what do you want me to do? Huh? You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. All right, I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Unfriendly persuasion, huh? Our business is with the muties, not you. Why are you doing this for? Won't name names, but some important folks in the NCR are sick of muties attacking their Brahmin herds. They want them gone from NCR territory. Maybe this group had something to do with attacking Brahmin, maybe not. Doesn't matter. We're getting paid to make them go away. What do you want with Jacobstown? Just doing what I'm paid to do. Harass the muties until they leave or attack us. If they leave, we'll let them go. If they attack, we wipe them out. Either way, the job's not done until they're cleared out of the town. Well, I hear, I hear your mercenaries. Will caps make you go away? We're still owed half. 2,500 caps. Pay up and we'll be on our way. If you're short, maybe you can get the money from the muties. Yep, get a move on. Marcus is here. Something on your mind? I need 3,000 caps to pay off the mercenaries. I'll wipe out the town treasure. If that's what it takes. <laughs> yeah, but I'm still morally good, so... <laughs> By the way, I'm a hero in the NCR, and I think you need to leave now. Whoa, whoa. Thought you looked familiar. I'm just doing a job, nothing more. Politics aren't my thing, so if you say go, we'll go. No hard feelings. Right. And now we get to keep that 3,000 caps. Not bad for a day's work. Something on your mind? Well, you won't have any more trouble with those mercenaries. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. Right. See you. And there she is, Lily. She's also one of, she's also, uh, you know, a possible companion if you, you know, if Nightkin is your, you know, thing. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Uh, I still find another human here. I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. So, I take it you're a scientist? Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. You 
Cuba with the Enclave. Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. What is canine neuroscience? Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. Right. If we must. So, what are you working on? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. Why? No, why is it that? Uh, why is the Stealth Boy Mark II riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. Does the stealth boy use hurt humans? It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nightkin. Tell me, why are you helping the Nightkin? Because Marcus asked me to. And because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning, I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. Okay, well, I would like to help. What do you need me to do? I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big harness to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. What makes you think that the Night Stalker mutation isn't natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. Right. If we must. Yes, yes. Yeah, I guess we have to talk about the arcade topic first. So. Well. Well, we can't really. I mean, I suppose we, we could ask Lily, but we would have to immediately dismiss arcade, so. I mean, usually when I do this quest, I do, of course, take Lily with me. It's just, you know, it's only natural, but... You know? We're doing it with... We are doing this with Arcade, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna like... Yeah, well. Yeah, Charleston K or somewhere here. Yeah. Hmm. 
just in case. Just as a warning. Well, let's just put on the light. Okay, that went up, okay, so. Nightkin carrying a cute stealth boy and ooh baby I don't, I don't, this is, there's a, probably here, yeah. yeah. Hard lock, huh? Well, plenty of pins, of course. But yeah. Wrench. Ammo box. Different kinds of ammo. Hunting shotgun. Stim packs right away. Post war audio log. 
banana yucca <laughs> purified water because why not well let's listen to the audio log oh the reds finally hit us just like i always said they would Vegas is still there as far as I know, but that probably won't last long. Didn't get accepted into one of the vaults, so I did the next best thing and had this place built. Got massive debts, but who cares now? <laughs> That's every man for himself now. Had to take care of the Paulson boy since he knew about this place. These supplies are for me and nobody else. There's a woman and her daughter up in one of the rooms of the lodge. Might go pay him a visit tomorrow. A man's got needs. Well, I guess that's also sort of a story of a survivalist, but I have to admit that it's uh, slightly different in tone than in tone and in character than the Randall Stevens. Was it Randall Stevens or that, uh, well, that uh, survivalist in oh, what you call it, uh, 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 in, in, in Zion Valley. The survivalist, yeah. Well, hmm, yeah. And the reason why I chose not to go for the Mr. House route is because if you go for Mr. House route, he will insist that you have to destroy the Brotherhood of Steel. And since we're already kind of uh, invested into their storyline and Veronica is, a, you know, one of our good friends, etc. Is there something else I can do for you? I found a chewed up stealth ball in the night stalker there. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutation so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Why Lily and not some other Nightkin? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. So what are the risks of the experiments? Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II has never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. I'll be waiting. Started to talk to him again. Is there something else I can do for you? Promising, but I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Okay, I guess we do need to talk to Lily at least. Jimmy, little Jimmy, my, how you're grown up. So good of you to come visit your grandma. 
I guess these quests are built in such a way that you will have to talk to Lily so that you will, so that it kind of, the game makes sure that you, are, you, you will at least become aware that there is basically a character, this character named Lily. Who's Jimmy? I think you have me confused with someone else. What do you do in Jacobstown? Watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures, but sometimes they get ornery, just like my grandkids. Well, did you still want to help Dr. Henry run his experiment? Of course, Gary. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. No cheat. I'll go to the town. You need to play the Almost a shame to be doing all these quests now and not being able to enjoy the XP points you get from there, you know. And not being able to level up anymore. But anyway. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go ahead. Well, go ahead and start the test. Very well. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Feels strange. Strange, but good. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rad scorpion. Smash! Yeah! How are those readings looking, Calamity? Devo and scrambling things. Reading says gamma wave activity is zero. Can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. It can't be right. It must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. Keen has never liked me. If anyone can talk him into backing down, it'll have to be you. The quest is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. Well, what are you planning to do once you have the specs? There are batches of stealth boys out here. With the Mark II in hand, it shouldn't be difficult to upgrade every one of them. You should know that Mark IIs are even more dangerous than standard stealth boys. Our lives, our decision to make. We're tired of sitting around in Jacobstown waiting for a cure. Keen, what you do in the wasteland affects all the mutants here. But you didn't think about that, now did you? No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, Schumann. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... Why don't you just use neuropeptide stimulators in a Night Stalker brain? We should should be similar to a live brain. That's brilliant. Simple yet elegant. 
I can't believe I didn't think of that. Yep. Kind of completed that quest. Is there something else I can do for you? Well, there is another thing I wanted to talk to you about. R.K. Cannon has asked me to gather all the former members of the Enclave in the Mojave. I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Oh, you'll need my word from the passphrase to get into the bunker. Friends, don't forget it. So I guess you want to do this Guess Who I Saw Today quests after Dr. Henry leaves from here, then I think then you can just talk to to the to, to calamity here. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. Well, his work was what mattered to him. It seems pointless to have that without a goal. I'm sure Henry has goals. He was just more concerned with the how than the why of things. Being in the Enclave didn't really mean much to him. I guess I'm lucky that I'm part of the Followers. Helping people as a doctor is important, but with the Followers, it feels different. It feels like we're working towards something more important. That's more than the sum of the good deeds that we do. So many scary eyes. Yeah. All right, so now that we've <laughs> pretty much dealt with all the <laughs> all the issues in in Jacobstown, like uh, some kind of you know <clears throat> some kind of um, you know speed running problem solver troubleshooter here. Yeah. So I think this is enough for now. So. Uh, Oh, I think when we come back, we'll probably go and visit the at least the boomers. We'll start, you know, of course, visiting these major factions, and along the way, of course, you know, meeting with, uh, you know, arcades, uh, all these people from, you know, arcades past, the remnants, as they're called. Anyway, so thank you for watching. See you next time, and goodbye.